going to mug me. I'm not going to mug you. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run a decent marathon. Download Veeley now. about you have a toothache? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Cheryl? Oh, I know, it's those children of ours. I've told you not to let them bother you. I mean, you've got to let go, move on, let them stand on their own two feet. I'm not talking about two feet, Desmond. I'm talking about four. Isn't he cute? It would be cute if the Wellington boot was booting it out the door. <laughs> yes, I know you could say that. I told you before, I don't want a dog. I'm not asking you if you want a dog. It's me that wants the dog. Oh, see, you have the English disease. <laughs> well, I think there are too many dogs in London already, and in tests, eight out of ten pavements would agree with me. <laughs> they don't want a dog in this house. All right, OK, no dog. You agree? Of course, after all, you wear the trousers in this house, Desmond. That's right. As long as you remember, they fit me, too. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else you want to say to me before I start to read this newspaper? No. Why you ask? Because you always want to talk to me just as I'm about to read a newspaper. I don't always. Yes, you do. No, I don't. All right. <laughs> <laughs> OK. I want to talk. You do? <laughs> oh, dear, this looks serious. No, 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 it isn't. You know, I've been helping out at that children's home. Surely get to the point. Well, most of the kids get to go home at the weekend. But there's this one little girl there called Daisy. Did I ever tell you about Daisy? You haven't stopped talking about her since you've been going there. But you see, Daisy hasn't got a home to go to. Her mother abandoned her at birth. And since then, she's been in and out. All right, all right, all right. She can stay the weekend. Ah, uh, yes, God. <laughs> you have a heart after all. Oh, surely you can't keep reading the paper if you're doing that. <laughs> Desmond. What? Look, Daisy is a nice child, but she has one or two behavior problems. So how many? One or two? <laughs> she's been in and out of care, and as a result, she's unsettled. We have to handle her with kid gloves. Not Wellington boots? Yes, <laughs> Is she house trained? <laughs> yes. All right, well, it's OK by me. No, Desmond, I'm serious. You have to promise me. Promise you what? Well, promise me you won't get angry and raise your voice. I promise. Promise me you'll be the perfect father figure. Well, aren't I always? Oh, only the day before Father's Day. I promise. <laughs> now, promise me you won't come home drunk after Domino's on Friday. Shirley? Why we don't get a dog instead? <laughs> it would be easier. <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies, but my wife will be along shortly. It's a strange word, that, isn't it? What is? Wife. Yes. yes. <laughs> so husband is a silly word as well. Yes! No, it isn't. <laughs> Husband. We know what band means. We had a band, didn't we, Desmond? And we had Huss in it. No, Paul Fry. Huss is short for house. Would you like to learn something new? No. I'm going to tell you anyway. The band part of the word husband means to dwell. What's dwell? It's a well with a D in front of it. Not a lot of people know that. Dwell is a pretty silly word when you come to think of it. Matthew is a pretty silly word now you can mention it. Mention is a pretty silly word once you start to dwell on it. And silly is a silly word. Especially coming from you. But you know what's the silliest word in the whole of the universe, the space, and the galaxy? No what? Baba! Ah. <laughs> oh, man, you're Is this where you scalp your victims, my man? Scalp? You want a haircut? Park your backside on that chair. Okay. I want an afro. Don't you all? <laughs> we don't do afros. 
Come on, dude. Where have you been? He's been here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on out. Hey, look, the dog is. <laughs> oh, out, out. Ah! Look at that little brat. <laughs> Daisy. Desmond, what you been doing to Daisy? That is Daisy. Shirley, <laughs> and he shook me, oh, no. and he shouted, and he screamed. It was horrible. Shirley, he didn't do that. <laughs> You keep out of it, Pope Pie Desmond. If you did, I think you ought to apologize to Daisy. Do what? Remember what you promise. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what did he say, Shirley? I never heard him. Louder, Desmond. I'm sorry! <laughs> uh, uh, would you like some money for some sweets, little girl? <laughs> I've been told not to accept sweets from strange men. Well, he may be a little strange, Daisy, but he is my husband. You'll get used to him. <laughs> oh, Daisy. This is Uncle Pork Pie and Uncle Matthew. They're going to look after you while I do Mrs. Johnson's hair, OK? OK. OK. This is Daisy, gentlemen. She's spending the weekend with us. Hello, Hello Daisy. Daisy. Hi, dudes. <laughs> Daisy, why don't you do our schedule for the weekend? Excellent. Now, Daisy, schedule means... Timetable, plan, order of events. And Americans say schedule. By the way, drop the Daisy. What do we call you, then? I know what I'd like to call her. <laughs> kid. Just call me the kid. That's what everyone else does. What are you reading? Good question. Why, I'm reading a book on Greek mythology. Why? Because I'm studying classical history at college as an additional course. Why? Because you don't want to get a job. <laughs> Because he's a lazy good for nothing. I resent that remark. Why? Kid, will you please stop saying why? Why? Because I said so. OK, Uncle Desmond, you're the boss. Oh, it's going to be nice having her around, isn't it? Why? <laughs> Man, Gloria's got no taste. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Bodacious. <laughs> Don't you see the kid, I presume? Gloria, the adult, I guess. Yes, and you better get used to that name because that's who you've got to ask if you want to touch anything in here in the future. And do you usually go around using people's things without asking first? Yeah. Well, you're not going to do it to me, OK? The agreement is you sleep in this room, not trash the place. Gloria, what have you done to our tapes? Nothing. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Do you normally dress like that? <laughs> yes, I do. And if you must know, I like it. I'm glad I'm not your sister. <laughs> yeah, well, check it. I'm my brother. How do you think I feel? <laughs> Listen, if you was my sister, I'd soon slap that grin off your face. <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to shout at her. I want us to be nice to Daisy, please. Mom, look at my room. Please. OK, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like jazz? Or are you just posing? I like jazz. He played with Charlie Parker. Of course he did. Miles the Bird and Philonius. They are excellent dudes, man. Brubeck, though, not so bodacious. Wow, you're a bit forward for a nine-year-old, aren't you? No, it's just that your sister's a bit backward, dude. <laughs> See, it's not like I'm a jazz freak, cos I'm into real music. Oh, yeah? So what sort of music are we talking here? We're talking iced tea, boogie down productions, flavour flavour. No, we're talking, man. You're also talking Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Nah, man. <laughs> nah, they're soft, man. I'm still a kid, remember? <laughs> Yeah, you're safe, man. Mm, the arm's length. <laughs> hey, where did you get that ring from? Um, your room? <laughs> and another thing, that chick could eat. She's a bottomless pit. You know she had five dumplings last night? 
Five. Five. Then she had four chicken drumsticks, rice, peas, two glasses of sour soap, juice, and she still wanted afters. <laughs> Matthew. What? Well, isn't there an old African saying on this subject? <laughs> no. But I know what an old Guyanese would say. That's a whole heap of food. <laughs> something. Where is she now? Gone to the supermarket with Shirley. You sure they have enough food over there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can take that little rat in my room. She's rummaging for all my things. Yes, and she messed up all my tape. She put them all out of order. Listen, I know we're supposed to treat her with kid gloves, but I like to use boxing gloves on her. <laughs> <laughs> I want to sprinkle her. Mm. You could write a whole Stephen King novel about what I'd like to do to her. <laughs> Like that? Yes, I do. Well, hold on a minute. I thought you liked her. Well, I mean, you're always smiling at her. That's to stop this snarl. <laughs> <laughs> OK, where's the kid we all love to hate? I think he just walked through the door. <laughs> I think you know who I mean, Father. Uh, this looks like a conspiracy. What have you done with her? You haven't chopped her up and put her in the freezer, have you? <laughs> <laughs> no, Michael. Stupid boy. <laughs> to do a lot worse than that just now on the phone. Quite frankly, I'm shocked that grown-up people would want to be so vicious to a kid. Have you met her? Well, no, but... Look, I think Mother's doing a great job helping out with these children. The least we can all do is support her. I mean, there must be a collective age of about, what, 180? 280, if you count poor five. <laughs> and you can't deal with a nine-year-old? <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourselves. My son. I asked you over here to use your charm to speak to your mother about this nine-year-old. I didn't ask you over here to make fools out of us. No, of course not. You can do that yourself. <laughs> ah, here they come. Oh, mother, let me oh, help Michael. you with those. Thank you. Here, take these upstairs. <laughs> come on. Uh, hello. I bet you're Daisy, aren't you? You enjoying your ice cream? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Can I have some? Sure. Well, isn't this nice? Hmm? Everyone's here to show Daisy what a happy family is like. Yeah, but, Mum, Michael's not here. Precisely. That's why I'm happy. <laughs> I won't be a minute. <laughs> Did you enjoy your treat today, Daisy? What treat? Didn't Mum take you to the cinema? Oh! Yeah. Well, did you enjoy it? Yeah. Ever thought of becoming a film critic? <laughs> right, last clue. 14 across. Youth resisting the norm. Eight and ten letters. Well, it's nice to see everybody having such a nice time. <laughs> Look, I found some board games. Ah, oh, good. Board games for bored people. Bodacious. <laughs> right, Daisy, your choice. What game would you like to play first? Choose Monopoly. It's the only time I have any money or property. <laughs> Personally, I prefer games that challenge the intellect and fire the imagination. Shirley, do you have Cluedo? <laughs> this is supposed to be for Daisy. What about Snakes and Ladders? Yeah, I used to be good at this game. Well, right? you never used to cheat, and you lost most of the cards. Remember no, that time no, when you were up, bro. Shirley, no, control your children! What do you mean, my children? Desmond Shirley is right. They're your children as well. Yeah. Who asked you anything? Yes, Bob, who asked you anything? Who told me you? There's an old African saying. A mouse should never come between a lion and a lioness. Who are you calling a mouse? I'm <laughs> part of the family. Oh, and I thought you were part of the furniture. No, you see nothing. Uh, so all of this is my fault? Yes. yes. <laughs> what about happy families? <laughs> I'm sorry about this, Daisy. Look, Mum, this just isn't working, man. Is it all if we just chip one time? Yeah, it's not as if we didn't try. See you later, bye. <laughs> <laughs> for a lovely evening, Shirley. Yes, we must do this again soon. Um, I'll see them out. As long as it's just to the door and not to the pub. But, Shirley... Look, I just want to have a word with you after I put Daisy to bed. Uh, please. All right. 
Let's have a game of dominoes downstairs. That's a game I can beat you at. No, it's a game I can beat you oh, 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 oh. No, 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 Daisy. Desmond doesn't like children scribbling on his newspaper. Sean and Gloria used to do the same thing. Now, tell me, what's up? It's nothing, really. I'm just bored. Well, tomorrow we'll do something really exciting, I promise. What? Better tonight? Much better. Now, off you go and brush your teeth. OK. Yeah? Daisy? Yeah? You finished the crossword. Yeah. Youth resisting the norm. Juvenile delinquent. Easy, man. <laughs> Can I go and brush my teeth now? Uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Of all the kids in all the world, and Shirley had to choose her. I mean, the thing about choosing is to choose the best. But children do seem to be different today. What do you mean, different? Well, when I was a child, if I misbehaved, my father only had to say one word and I'll get... <laughs> Your father spoke to you? When I was a child, my father only had to look at me and I'd get... <laughs> <laughs> When I was a child, my father only had to think at me, and I was... <laughs> You know what that Daisy was? Yeah! <laughs> Boy, one day with me and you'd see the difference. But she's been here two full days already. At least she's going tomorrow. Long time between now and tomorrow. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Shirley. How nice of you to include me once again in the specially extended family occasion. Where's the food? Daisy, is it all already? <laughs> no pork pie. We're doing something special before lunch. Everybody got pencil and paper? Oh, it's a bit alternative, Mum. I mean, what are we supposed to do right until we're full? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mother, whatever this entertain Daisy session is, I've got short tennis at 2 o'clock, so we better hurry up. What short tennis? It's for people who are short of friends. Desmond Daniels <laughs> reporting for duty, sir. Right, Desmond, sit down. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, isn't this nice? It'd be nicer if there was food on the table. Pork pie. Shirley's trying to tell us something. Thank you, Matthew. Well, today I thought we might entertain Daisy with a few games. Uh, Shirley, my little sugar plum, you forget yesterday. Ah, but today's going to be different. Today I thought we might exercise our brains. Pork pie, you can go. <laughs> Mother, I exercise my brain all week at the bank. Yeah, then you come down here and exercise your big math. <laughs> That's enough. Now then, the rules of the game are no cheating, no copying, and no conferring. This is going to be very difficult, eh, pork pie? <laughs> and the first game is mental arithmetic. Oh. Well, I think I'll set this one out. I left my glasses downstairs. <laughs> it's all right, Uncle Desmond. I brought them up for you. <laughs> Thank you, Daisy. <laughs> Ready? You're allowed to write down the problem, but the sum you have to do in your head. What is 13 times 8 <laughs> divided by 4 times 36? <laughs> Michael. Such a cheap man. A mother, everybody uses calculators these days. I don't. Mum, was that divided by 36 Shh. or was it? I lost my place now. <laughs> no cheating. <laughs> I've got it. At last. The answer is 935. Wrong. 936. <laughs> you know something? Daisy's right. <laughs> 302. <laughs> Try and keep up, Popeye. It's a fix. Oh, such a good loser, aren't you, Michael? <laughs> right. The next round is general knowledge. Would someone else like to set the question? Oh, yes, no. I have one. <laughs> uh, not too difficult for Daisy, Matthew. No. Name the seven dwarfs. Um, uh, Happy. Mm -hmm. Grumpy. Uh, Dozy. Oh, you would get that one, wouldn't you? <laughs> Dopey, same thing. Happy, grumpy, grumpy dopey, sleazy. Who? Sleazy. 
see Gloria. How many so far? Oh, Lord. Grumpy, snoozy. Four. Duppy. Duppy. <laughs> Yeah, um, that's right. And, uh, and, uh, 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 Sleepy and Doc. Well done, Daisy. Can we try for dudes? <laughs> it's my turn. I have a riddle. A man sets out on a donkey on Monday. He travels for two days and stays one night at an inn. He rests for a day. He travels three more days and arrives on Friday. How can that be? Arrives on Friday. Mm -hmm. I know. It was a leap year. Nope. And no. <laughs> it was on a fourth day. Nope. No, no, Gloria, he traveled by night. No. Nope. The clocks went back. No. <laughs> he crossed the equator. Nah. He ditched the donkey and took Concord. <laughs> no, no, no. None of you have got it. Not even Daisy. <laughs> Could you just repeat that, please, Uncle Desmond? Of course. <laughs> a man sets out on a donkey on Monday. He travels for two days and stays the night at an inn. He rests for two days, then travels for three more days and arrives on Friday. How can that be? The donkey's name was Friday. Right. Uh... <laughs> you never said the donkey had a name? That's the point, Popeye. I would like to know what the point of this cheap, humiliating, unamusing, time-wasting exercise has been. I mean, a donkey could go... Eeyaw, 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 always has to win. <laughs> it showed us one thing, Michael. Daisy didn't enjoy our childish games yesterday because she, she's more perceptive and intelligent than any of us realised. Hmm. And I'm going to have a word with her teachers first thing on Monday morning. Is that a good idea, Daisy? Bodacious. Yes, totally triumphant. <laughs> You hear that? Hear what? That, my friend, is the sound of peace. Now, there's a silly word, peace. <laughs> you never know what it means. You can have a hair peace. Or you can have war and peace. Or you could have my favorite word in the whole galaxy, universe, and space, rice and peace. <laughs> <laughs> Your definition of peace is no children. Correct. Oh, come on, Desmond. After a while, you'd miss them, even Michael. Nope. Well, you were even singing Daisy's praises yesterday before she left. Well, that's because I knew she was an exceptional child. Ah, oh, Desmond. Well, you seem like me when I was a kid. Nobody understood me. Nothing's changed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do hope we see her again soon. Daisy certainly raised the level of intellectual ambience here. Eh, pork pie? What does that mean? <laughs> well, I'm sure she'd miss us too. Hmm. Ah, it was lovely to see her being part of a family again. Well, what do you expect? It's the Ambrose touch. Pity you don't work all the time. <laughs> Michael. You know, I've been thinking about you, mother and father, and about your desire to hear the patter of tiny feet again. So until such time as I or the other two offspring decide to reproduce, I bought you something that will bring you some joy and buy me some time. Oh! 